I have a very cool announcement. Legitimately, I am so excited about this one. I have my own flavor of June Shine. Wow, that does, that could have been so much better. I have my own flavor of June Shine. Look at that. If you don't know what June Shine is, it's hard kombucha. Look at that. It says co right there. That's my own flavor right there. Look at this fuck, my fucking name on the can. How cool is that? I invested in them early last year. I, we've been talking about doing this since then, January 2021. It's been over a year and a half this has been in the works and it finally is out in the wild right now. The flavor is called Hippie Juice. The flavor is like strawberry lemonade and then with yum berry in there too, which what the fuck is a yum berry? I don't know, but it's delicious. Something about this is so cool. It's one of the coolest things that has happened thus far in my career. One of my favorite drinks ever. I now have my own flavor of it. It says my name on the fucking can, which I already said. But anyways, it's in stores now, uh, or you can buy it online right here. If you wanna get a case of Hippie Juice, you know, get some of them, drink 5,000 of them responsibly, of course. The guy who runs one of my favorite clothing brands ever, Free and Easy, he did the can design for this. So I just got to work with a whole bunch of cool people for this, and I'm just really, really excited. So, you know, go pick up a case for me, and if you do, send me a DM of the case or tweet at me or something like that, and I'll see it and be happy, and maybe I'll repost it. All right, on to the video. You know, I'm kind of in the thick of wedding planning right now, so I'm thinking a lot about weddings and what I want my wedding to look like, and do you ever do that? Picture your perfect wedding? Maybe it's on the beach, maybe it's in the mountains, and everything is wonderful. You know, your family's there, your friends are there, everyone's dressed up. Everything is just so beautiful, except for you, because you're ugly. You ever feel like that? Well, this reality competition show from 2010 offers a solution for people like you that feel like that. This show, called Bridal Plasty, it was on E!, I believe. They took a bunch of soon-to-be brides, they stuck them all in a house together, they made them live together away from their fiancés, and they made them compete with each other, doing like weird challenges. And the winner not only wins her dream wedding, all expenses paid, but also wins a list of plastic surgeries that they want. Oh, that got dark. Yeah, this is one of those shows that got made that's all about people winning plastic surgery. Every bride wants to look perfect on her wedding day, but some may need some extra help. I definitely need a breast lift. There's a little excess tissue here. A little? <laughs> now there's a place where they can come to complete their quest for ultimate perfection. It's so funny that like all of America at one point, like this was only 12 years ago, all of America 12 years ago watched shows like this and collectively we're like, yeah, that person's fucking busted. Yeah, they need all the help they can get. That person is ugly. Yeah, circle the areas on their body that are shitty. Can you do that? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, just so we all know which exact areas on their body are bad. God, that person is fucked up. They don't deserve to get married until they get fixed. <laughs> there's like this, there's the swan, there was extreme makeover. Like, there's a handful of these shows. We're all just like, yo mom, come look at how fucking ugly this person is. Ah, oh. you know, your mom comes downstairs. Oh, sweetheart, turn that off. That person is fugly. God, that person is fucked up. The brides will compete for the chance to have plastic surgery procedures before their wedding day. I don't, I don't understand how that footage is like legal. That was footage of a doctor like jamming a liposuction hose in someone's skin. Just surgery, I don't understand surgery videos. I see those on TikTok sometimes too. It's like, how are those not illegal? Why is nudity banned on every platform? But for some reason, literal surgery. So you can't show your skin, but yeah, you can fucking show inside your skin, sure. It's like a nipple, showing a nipple will get you banned. But then some this guy jamming a fucking fat vacuum inside someone's skin. Yeah, no, go ahead. Oh, yeah, show that to kids. They gotta know that when you get older, if you don't look how you wanna look and you got a little money, you can fix that. She's gonna fill out her wedding dress, that's for sure. That's what you're supposed to do, right? When you pick out a dress? Pick out a dress with a little bit of, little bit of room. So you can really fill it out with all the procedures that you're getting. She will also get a celebrity style dream wedding. After being away from her fiance for four months, she will finally walk down the aisle and he will lift her veil to reveal her new look. What, what the fuck? <laughs> How is this real? These guys right here, my man, my man right here in the compass tee. From her fiance. <laughs> and, this, and this fucking guy right here. 
I, I can't believe that these guys are just cool with this. Like, shouldn't they be like, babe, no, you're, you look beautiful. Like, you're, you're the girl I fell in love with. I've wanted to marry you this whole time. You don't have to go. Instead, they're just like, yeah, fucking have fun. Get out of here. You got a lot of work to do before we tie the knot. Get out of here. When you come back, when I see you next, I want to be turned on. All right? Because right now, I am not. All right. Have fun. Mike, what's good? Yeah, no, I just sent her off. The ogre is out of the house. She went to surgery camp or something. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, you want to play some video games or what's good? I mean, just, just the fact that these dudes are okay with lifting the veil on the day that they're getting married to this person and she looks totally different from what he fell in love with. <laughs> That's so fucked up. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh. oh. Hey. <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm Cody. <laughs> oh, yo, what's up? No, no, you don't look bad. I just, I don't, I don't think we met. I want to smack that nose right off her face right now. So I guess that was part of the show is that they would do competitions in every single episode and if you won then you won a surgery but then you got the surgery and you had to go back into the house with the bandages on like as you're recovering <laughs> i feel like they just like didn't really think that part through how are you supposed to like be present on a reality show when when this is the state of your face just hopped up on painkillers just like oh man i couldn't be mad at anyone even if i wanted to be right now producers are like fuck we need more drama yo She's been talking shit about you. Do you care? And she's like, I don't, <laughs> I don't care about anything right now. I'm so fucked up on oxys. I just, I'm fresh from surgery. Where, where, who, where the fuck even am I? Can you see it? Yes, I can see, see the nose. The nose, understandable. Okay, I got that. Obviously the nose. The nose, totally get that. Yeah, you got a fucking beak on you. Gotta be honest, babe. Love ya. Your nose sucks ass. Or should I say smells ass? Cause you could probably smell an ass from six miles away with that fucking thing on your face. When I first arrived at the house, I thought this is a dream. The house is gorgeous. It's unlike anything that I've ever seen, let alone step foot in. It's just families sitting together being like, unlike you. Yeah, no wonder you haven't seen anything that gorgeous. Cause you, cause you keep looking in the mirror. It's not there. You're not gonna find it there, right mom? Right dad? <laughs> I love family time. This is so much fun. Imagine being related to her though. <laughs> Needless to say, I have definitely had more than enough experience with competing with women. If she knows what she wants, she's gonna go and get it. So they just better watch out because there's no stopping her. If she knows what she wants, she's gonna go and get it. So let's just hope that's a new nose and new tits. What's wrong with my boobs? <laughs> I mean, nothing's wrong with them, but I mean. Honey, I'm trying to get us a free wedding, okay? Fabulous, over-the-top Hollywood glam style. It'd make me pretty sad if I was like, hey, Kelsey, I'm going to the store. You need anything? And she's like, can you get a new dick? Just like a bigger one? Well, I'll see if, I'll see if they have any, but, you know, last time they were out, so. You sure you don't? No, get a new one. Okay. A new dick. Let's put that on the list. What size? Bigger. Okay, bigger. I'll write, sorry, I'll write bigger. Okay. What about balls? Do you want smaller balls? Okay, small balls. I thought girls like big, big sacks, but okay, I'll, I'll get some smaller ones. Now, if a dick enlarging surgery was easily accessible. Nah, I wouldn't do it. My mom was sick and I am. <sighs> she had cancer, so time was getting, you know, closer and she's just getting sicker. Ugh. Fuck, TV is so fucked up, or was. I mean, is it still? Like in 10 years, are we gonna look back on shows now and be like, what the fuck, F-Boy Island? What the fuck is that? Dude's just self-classified as fuckboys? What the hell? Naked and afraid, really? People just voluntarily got naked and then just were scared for like a month? Hi ladies, I'm Shayna Mokler and welcome to Bridal Plasty. <laughs> Hey, boo. You guys are all here because you want the perfect dream wedding, but that's not all you have in common. You're also all busted as fuck. Head to toe, plastic surgery makeovers. Yeah? Here's how it's gonna work. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> I 
I swear to God, this is like an adult swim sketch. But also, with the challenges come eliminations. So one by one, you will be going home until we just have one bride left. One by one, you'll be going home and you can still have your wedding. I mean, you need to, right? You gotta get married, but you won't be the perfect bride. And just know that you'll be thinking about that the whole time. Just a run of the mill average bride. Ugh. Ugh, couldn't be me. I was the perfect bride on my wedding. And one of you will be the per the next perfect bride. But the rest of you will be little rat brides. Oh, just little gargoyle brides. Ugly brides covered in pus and vomit. And that one bride will have a first class celebrity style dream wedding. Oh my God. This means. Damn. Watch that again. That's me. That's me right now, honestly. Because that honestly did kind of appeal to me a little bit, that, that part of the prize. That part of the prize sounds pretty cool. An all expenses paid celebrity style wedding. It's like, you know, we're planning, planning a wedding right now. It's like, it's fucking not cheap. Everything is like, how much for the fucking, what? How much for the napkins? $1.5 million? How did? So I feel this lady right here. Feel you. That's a big mood. You know, there's always gonna be shock when someone comes home looking different, but you know, that's what keeps life exciting. That's the lesson. That's the lesson of this show. Things getting dry in your relationship or in your life, just get a whole bunch of plastic surgery. That's what keeps life exciting. Elective surgical procedures. You know, my job as an accountant is just not really stimulating me like it used to and I'm not progressing as much as I'd like to, so I think I'm gonna get some ass implants. Without further ado, please welcome Dr. Debro. Yes, Dr. T. Magic man. Yeah. How is this? How is this real? That lady did not just go, yeah, Dr. T. Dr. T. That's my fucking favorite. Plastic surgeon. I mean, I was surprised when I first met you guys because you're all so basically good looking. And, uh, you know, plastic surgery is really to make minor improvements to be a better version of yourself. <laughs> the family's at home. Boo! Boo, dude, you're lying. You're lying. Yeah, way to brown nose, you fucking brown noser. You know they're busted, dude. Right, mom? They sure are busted, hon. You're right. So, Allison, you have done. Really? <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad at all. There are so, some things that are just not meant to be shown. Oh, the music. Oh my god. That's so that's so mean to put that music there. I mean, what did the producer What's the What? What the Stop. Stop. What the fuck? What did I say something bad? What? What did I do? Why is it? Stop. Stop playing that music. What did I do wrong? I'm not, I'm killing it right now. Come on. I'm killing it. You have perfect breasts for doing a breast augmentation and then liposuction of the tummy. Oh my God, you have perfect breasts for the procedure in which we fix them because they're fucked up. Like it's so embarrassing. This whole consultation is playing on the TV in front of this whole living room of women sitting there being like, yeah, yeah, wow. You really do need that done. Wow, I really hope that you win, but I don't because I want I want to get shit done. I really hope that you're going to be stuck with that thing that's fucked up about you. Is there anything more demeaning than sharpying an, a section of someone's body and being like, "I don't I don't like that." It's a body. Everyone's got bad shit on their on their bodies except for me. So All right, let's see what the first challenge looks like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my when I walked into the bridal tent, they had all of our freaking photos in our bikini, and I was like, oh, I'm so tired of seeing my freaking, you know, skin and everything everywhere. When I say go, you will race to finish the puzzle and assemble the new you. Now, ladies, over there is a tray with 10 syringes. As you finish your puzzles, you may grab a syringe, go downstairs, where Dr. Debro and his staff <laughs> We'll be having an exclusive first class injectables party right here in the house. Oh my God, an injectables party? Oh my God. I can actually have something worth $600 like injected into my face. So, okay. I know that's like a thing. I don't know, in LA, I guess that's a thing. I've heard about that before. It's like a Botox party. Like you go and you like get Botox and like socialize. Like if you're gonna get a medical procedure done, why party? 
at the same time. It's like, it just doesn't make any sense, you know? No, it's really good. It's a new flavor. It's really, really good. Yeah, I can't tell if I can't feel my face because of the cocaine or because of the, you know, the Botox. I can't feel shit, dude. It's sick. The first 10 brides to finish their puzzles will be invited to the party. The last two brides, well, let's just say you don't want to be the bottom brides. Like, I wonder if that maybe like changes the stakes of like a beer pong game, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you're playing beer pong and like the winner gets to inject Botox, but the loser gets to inject synthol or something. <laughs> like you can use that as the stakes for, for drinking games, you know? An injectable party also just sounds like a heroin party. Shane, I'm done. So the goal is you have to finish a puzzle that's a Photoshop picture of you to make you look better. God damn, this is so many levels of fucked up. <laughs> full of shit! I'm ready! Where are the needles? Where are the fucking needles? Inject me! Where's the- I see some fuckers over there in lab coats. Are you the people? Come on, fucking hit me. Just- just toss. Just throw it from over there. Just throw it. Throw it and I'll just catch it in my face. Doink! Oh, fuck! There it is! Is there a cheese plate or some shit? I'm hungry. I'm starting to- I don't know. I'm, I'm still on this injectable party thing. Just imagine coming home from that. Hey babe, I'm home from the injectables party. What happened to you? What party were you at? Injectables party. I got a fucking Botox. So fun. I'm gonna go to bed though. I'm pretty drunk. Wake up in the morning, you're like, God, what did I do last night? Oh my God, man, I got a bunch of Botox. <laughs> oh, fuck. Why do I do this? Every time I get drunk, I get a bunch of Botox. You won't believe what I fucking did last night. Yup. Yup, classic me, right? <laughs> Again. Yeah, I can't feel my face at all. It's fucked up. So then all the contestants, like mid-injection party, have to like evict one of the people that didn't get to come to the party. Kind of a bummer, you know? We're having fun, you know, getting stuck with needles in our faces and you gotta come rain on our parade a little bit. Sorry, you are the first one to be eliminated from bridal plasty. Your wedding will still go on, but it just may not be perfect. Oh my god, I was joking about that before. That they would say something like that. That's wild that she actually said that. It may not be perfect, that's so cold. Why would you fuck up somebody's wedding like that? So fast forward to episode eight. They do this challenge where they bring their fiancés in and the fiancés get blindfolded because by this point, like a lot of them have had work done already. So they don't want the fiancé to see it. So they bring them in blindfolded and they get asked questions about their relationship like on a polygraph. LJ, would you have asked Janessa to marry you had she not given you an ultimatum? Yes. Oh. All right, so it's it's moment of truth with a nose job. It's every fucked up show in one. It's a Frankenstein of fucked up shows. So after just a whirlwind season of competitions and medical procedures, we come to the finale where all the brides that got voted off have to come together and vote for who they think should win. Obviously that goes really well. There's no hard feelings or jealousy at all. Until I met you, I didn't know people like you really existed. <sighs> You're a snake. You're a manipulating bitch. I don't know how anybody could ever dream of a friendship or any sort of a relationship with you. And uh, we all know where I'm sitting. See, it's all fun and games. Congratulations, sweetheart. Congratulations, sweetheart. Just syringe right to the forehead. Congratulations. That's the winner's Botox. Let us finally see the beautiful bride. And now it's time for the big reveal. Standing ovation. <laughs> it's like it's not even about the wedding. The whole thing was just a ceremony to reveal the results of your plastic surgery. Well, you know, congrats to her. I'm sure that is a nice foundation for a real healthy marriage. And that's the lesson here. If you're not feeling as confident as you should, fix it. Make sure you cop some of these. Thank you, hippie juice.